Oh, your pillow's got messed up. Oh, sorry. Okay, let me make sure everyone can see this. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Can you just sing that? It's the most, most wonderful, wonderful time, time of, of the year. year. I love Christmas too. The holidays are fabulous. It's my favorite holiday. It is her favorite. We, we replace everything in the house except the children. <laughs> Thank you for letting me just have Christmas throw up in our house. I, <laughs> I love it. What's your earliest Christmas memory? My earliest Christmas memory, I have tons of Christmas memories, but my earliest Christmas There's memory spots. would be our family Christmas tree when I was like, seven or eight, mm -hmm. my mom used to put those tinsels, oh. the silver things, we did too. all over the freaking tree. And they'd be all over the freaking Everywhere. House. Everywhere. And guess who would have to pick it up? The children. My earliest memory is being at my uh, grandma and grandpa's house. Uh, my family was very small. It's just It was just me and my mom, my dad, and my brother. And uh, I'll never forget, I tried so hard. I actually stuck down the hallway and fell asleep trying to see Santa Claus. Of course, I woke up in the morning in my bed. I'm like, how the heck did that happen? Um, and just being there with my brother and my grandpa and my grandma and my parents and just being so excited um, that I got a Tonka truck. And uh, I just remember that as if it was almost yesterday. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I still get excited to get a Tonka truck, really. I remember asking my parents I wanted a dog, a puppy. Did you get one? I got a stuffed animal puppy <laughs> and I remember crying <laughs> and they said well you weren't you were particular we got you the <laughs> that's messed up <laughs> no but I loved I still know what it looked like it looked like uh uh you know the dog in um Last lady and no lady and tramp oh, no, that was, that's totally it was so cute and I kept that dog what that dog, dog it stayed on my bed for as long as as I can remember so I until she got married dog. I love that during the holidays, you get that time off and you can spend really nice, amazing quality time with, with your family. I also, you guys know, I love interior design. So I love just the look of Christmas. I love all the decorations as you can see, some right here. I do like the, the warm, like hot chocolate and cocoa, going ice skating, going and finding the tree. We cut them down a lot of times because there were a lot of Christmas tree farms back when I was little. Now they're oh, all... I've always wanted to do yeah. that. Can we do that this year? I don't know if there are that many left. Most of them became vineyards. But when I was a kid, we had about six Christmas tree farms in Napa. Uh, we, can go for, we can try to find one. I think that'll be so much fun. Can you imagine Aiden with a chainsaw? No. No. What's cool about our families is we, we see them both during the holidays. We're very blessed in being able to do that. So, you know, we flip-flop. So one year will be at my family's, one year will be at Tamara's family's. We always have a feast. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then after that, we all go to a movie. Because there's usually like a huge blockbuster, you know, uh, film that's out. My family, we always do something similar. We have a, we'll do the dinner and then we'll usually play games. Like uh, now that the kids are older too, they like to play games. So Uno or, you know, Pictionary, all the different like fun family games. I grew up doing that. I would, remember as a child, or as I got a new teenager, we would have the dinner and the games, and then we would leave mom and dad and the adults and the, the teenagers would all go to the movie. So I'm looking forward to when Aiden and Araya do that. We always have to watch Christmas films. Uh, like on Christmas day, well actually leading up to Christmas. Let me just explain to you my son and daughter. They watch The Grinch in March. Yeah. So they inherited that from her. We love holiday films and we will watch Christmas films all the way up until New Year's. Pretty and much. And after. Yeah. Yeah. Our traditional holiday meals, we're always gonna have green beans, mashed potatoes, turkey, mm -hmm. collard greens. This man, contrary to some people's belief, <laughs> this mm -hmm. man can cook some collard greens. They're he got good. the green light and the A-OK -okay from Miss Darlene. And Lonnie Love. And Lonnie. Mm -hmm. He can cook some greens. It's a tomato truth bomb right there. It is. I can kill some yams. My pumpkin. Oh, yams my are yams are bomb. I think my yams, my yams are. Yams. No. My yams are. The, her yams are good. Mine are they're different. Yours are mine are matched. Yours aren't. Okay. So they're different. They're totally different. They're different. It's like a 
a truck and an SUV. Both are very, very important. They're just different vehicles. <laughs> that was close. Yeah. I love that we as a family, we make holiday cards. We mm -hmm. take mm -hmm. photos every single year and it started with when Aiden was born. Remember that? We take lots and lots. It's, it's one of my favorite and traditions, lots. let's just say that. And you lots. always like the outcome of it. And lots. I will say- and I mentioned lots of photos. Thank you again, because I usually always have this theme <laughs> and he just goes along with it. The one that I can remember, um, Aiden had this red bow tie. Um, you know, I had my little scheme, theme, well, not scheme. I had my little theme. It's a scheme too. Yeah, for him. So wonderful. Uh, and uh, Aiden did not want to wear it. Was wiggling, was crying, wanted it off. Aiden ran across the street. Ryder wouldn't stop crying, but we got one. You, all it takes is one photo, and we got one. And we got one. There's actually two issues we've had. Really? What was the other one? It was the second Christmas with Aiden, and I did the photo myself. We did a selfie <gasps> in front of the tree. Oh my gosh, and I said never, ever, ever again is Christmas Adam 20, going, or 2015, no, going to do it. What made getting the picture just insane was trying to get everyone to look in one direction and smile. It sounds like such a simple <laughs> task. <laughs> just look at the camera and smile. No, it, it, it took Forever. Ever. I want to say at least like 45 minutes. And we shot it ourselves. Kids crying. It was just horrible. But that picture turned out fabulous. But we did get that one you shot. You would never know. I know though. Look in Aiden's eyes. <laughs> just look. Because we'll, we'll yeah, let but you now, guys see that. Yeah, you know. no, no, yeah. If you hadn't said that, they wouldn't have. I don't, I don't know. You, I don't think you would have noticed. Okay. Let us know. I don't know what our theme is going to be this year. That doesn't matter. You just tell me what it is. But you always write the Christmas letter. I do. What happened was years ago, my mom was complaining that she had to write a Christmas letter. And so my dad said, you know, your mother needs help with the Christmas letter. So I wrote it. And it became a thing for my family that every year I write the Christmas letter. And I'm, and I'm, a, I'm um, a little sarcastic in it. It's fun. And then when we got married, I started writing our Christmas letter. Much more brief. You know, and you have fun with it. So it's not the boring, you know, on in March, Tamara got her new teeth. And in April, she got new, you know, Botox. None of those are true. I'm just joking. But you. I, but like, I'm because just I for the record, no Botox, no Botox here. And same teeth. Never touched but, his face. But for the record, have you guys, in the comments down below, let us know some of the crazy things that you've read in Christmas letters because I've read stuff like that. My mom always gives me the Christmas letters that they receive, and I read stuff and I'm like, why did why Aunt someone Sally say just say that she got Botox? Well, because it is a trendy thing. But you don't tell people that in a Christmas letter. <laughs> I mean, I read some a Christmas letter where I'm like, yeah, I didn't need to know about that operation. I, Ours, I'm glad you're okay, but. The strangest gift I've ever received for Christmas, I can't really say because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Okay, for me, it's like, yes, I've received gifts where it's like, oh, I will never wear that. I am. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, that is, <laughs> but it's like, I, it's the thought that counts. Yes. I never actually, I'll be candid with you. I never <laughs> open a present if it's something I don't want and go, oh. I, 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 I never, never. I never do that. We were and not And I've never re-gifted for the record. She probably has. What? I have huh? never re-gifted. Re-gifting is a gift, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it is a gift. If they don't know and it's something that they wanted, I've never regifted. I've given things away, but I've never regifted. This is a funny story I have to tell about Elena. And okay. it's 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 funny because if you've know if you knew Elena, you you would know she she was feisty, she was sassy, and she always had an opinion about everything. And she right? talked a lot. And she talked a lot. So this is one long memory stories, that we mind. can share, right? Mm -hmm. So it, I regifted something, I gave it to Elena. I didn't think that she watched the talk show as much uh, as I did. And you know how they give you tons of gifts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can remember she did in such a sweet way. She was like, was it? <laughs> Weren't these on your show? Weren't, <laughs> were, weren't these? And I was like. I think she caught us another time too. She did? I think there was she another was time. She was so smart. I think there was another time where she was like. But she was very grateful. She was thankful. But I, I will think, never forget that memory. I think she said to my parents, like, I think Uncle Adam and Tamara gave me something that was given to them. Really? Yeah, that's when she was younger. 
But we gave her lots of things. Yes. No, yeah. But we I tell would... you this, from that time on, I made sure. I never regifted. We it wasn't even regifting. It was something that was brand new. It was still in a box. It, it was, was true. So but it, it was like gifted it was... to me, and I was like, oh, Elena would like this more. She totally caught you. She sure did. I will never forget that. You should be ashamed. I love giving too. Yes. Like I I also love receiving gifts. Okay. But there's just something about... What do you want for Christmas, by the way? I have no idea what to get you this year. I don't know. So in my family, I was I was always the one that found the unique gifts. Like, I take time to find some... Like, even, like, even your brother Taj. I like to find things that people are like, they wouldn't necessarily get for themselves. Yeah, that's what we lo- I love. I love, I love the thought that. process mm-hmm. of, like, finding that that perfect gift. And my mom actually said to me, you always give amazing gifts. My parents so. said the same thing. <gasps> about me? No, about me. I know this sounds cheesy, but we're always giving each other gifts. <laughs> so I like one we got a couple years ago. We got each other electric bikes. That, that was cool. That was cool. But was that a Christmas gift? It was. We bought them in like in the October first part of November. Yeah. But it was for we were like it's our Christmas gift to each other. Um, it was one of those gifts. This cost a lot of money. So, so uh, this is going to be your Christmas, your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day, Father's yes, Day. Yes, it was all in like anniversary. one. Anniversary. And I will say this, we are one of the households that don't go cray cray mm-hmm. on Christmas gifts. Nope. Because we also, this is me, I mean, I can speak for the both of us. We do want our children to know the true meaning of Christmas. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, it's it's totally awesome and, and amazing to give and receive gifts. But we don't want it to be just about that. So yeah. there is a, a, a balance in, in our household. I think the, the biggest way we, we, we to tell the story of Christmas is obviously you make sure you bring in our faith to it so the kids understand what Christmas is about as well for when it comes to the bigger meaning. But there's really cool books right now where you can talk about the birth of, of Jesus. Mm-hmm. We are a family of faith, so this is how we like to share the Christmas story with, with our kids. We even do something that's that's cool on my mom's uh, side. Of, of the family whenever we're there, we will actually sing Happy Birthday to Jesus. It's actually pretty endearing. It's cute. I feel like the emotions that are brought up during the holidays, for me personally, it's just happiness. I am like a kid in a candy store when I hear the jingling of the Christmas bells. I love music just in general, so I love Christmas music. I love the message behind Christmas music. We decorate and listen to Christmas music at the same time. Which means I carry the boxes in. Yes. And she moves things around 17 times so she finds the right spot. And we listen to Christmas Y'all understand, music. the struggle is real, but it always looks nice. And I drink Bailey's. Yes. <laughs> we drink while we decorate the Christmas tree. Thank goodness. I have my own Christmas playlist of like, I think It's pretty dope. You play your Christmas. Yeah, you uh, play yours. Yes, I actually start playing my Christmas playlist before Thanksgiving. No. That is that is we where we not, differ. We are not costly. I would love to put up Christmas my Christmas decorations. I would like to do it before. I saw a store that had Christmas decorations in August this year. I was like, come on. Hello? Who's it's, that? It's Santa Claus. He's using the front door. For me, the the holiday energy, if you will, is always like, I agree, it's very positive. It's about joy. It's about happiness. It's about blessings. It's about trying to help others, too. I mean, that's one thing we're they trying to do is I want to help those who don't necessarily, especially now this year, maybe have the opportunity to get a tree or to or to be able to provide presents for their children. So, and then there's always, listen, there's always, I don't say sadness, but you have the memories. Like, I remember, you know, the smell of my grandpa I just and my grandma, I just, you know, Elena, you know, um, seeing her first Christmas and, and spending 18 Christmases, you know, giving her presents. I mean, those, those are things that I do remember. And so there's always a little bit of that, a little bit of the nostalgia and, and a little bit of the, you know, the, the, the heart wanting to have one more day. But I, I would say the majority of it is about just giving in that whole spirit. This holiday season, I am definitely looking forward to just decorating the Christmas tree, Listening to <laughs> there he goes again. Listening to Christmas music. That part's fine. Drinking while we're that doing part's fine. it. Um, Carrying the boxes in. That part's not fine. The huffing and puffing that goes on. 
Can you move that again, maybe a millimeter to the right? Yeah. Uh, that's... And twist to, as you move that millimeter and move a millimeter back and a quarter as you twist. <laughs> and it's like... But it always looks great, doesn't it? Looks fabulous. It always looks great. That's the right answer. And you guys will see. So what are you guys looking most forward to this holiday season? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to The, the Housley Life. Life. Merry Christmas, everybody! Wow. And Merry happy... Christmas, everybody! Yes. Happy New Year! And a Happy New Year. We love you guys. And a Happy Life.